So yeah. that obviously uh, the 30th anniversary has come around and you need to, this needs to be a big, big episode. And this is Monday, the March 20th, uh, 26th. And, um, and so the storyline that we've got going, and you help me out here slightly. So you've got ex-Hitman Robbo and he's going to, he's in a vehicle smash and it smashes into a construction site and this causes a gas leak, which results in a mains pipe exploding under Summer Bay. Alf is caught up in all of this. And How are you is... caught up? Well, I, I think that's the greatest load of rubbish of all time. I mean, surely, Holly, you must be talking about some soap opera. I mean, <laughs> that wouldn't happen in real life, would it? No, no, no. Look, that's exactly what happens. Thank and you. it could happen. <laughs> and it could happen in real life. Um, where a, a runaway car or mm -hmm. a, car, a, a guy running from the law um, runs into a, guy, a, a group of guys who are working on a, on a gas main and that sort of triggers a, a little fire and that follows the gas main down, 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 down to the school mm -hmm. where there's a huge explosion and that causes a sinkhole. Part of the school collapses down this sinkhole. Cooper PD looks like the surface of the moon. You know, right. there are craters everywhere with rubble that people had dug out of these mines and things. And I'd actually worked down in these mines in this movie and uh, the set that they made for Home and Away for this sinkhole was just so real. It reminded me so much of that. And being on your back on the bottom of that sinkhole, looking up for yeah. shafts of light, was just incredible. All the, all the uh, rock and, and stone foundation uh, formation, rather, of, of the sinkhole mm. was pretty incredible. And I was down there with a lump of concrete on my chest, sort of half knocked out, half having a heart attack. You can't tell us what that is, I imagine. This I, is a... Holly, I'd love to. But you can't. Sadly, I can't. No. Um, because uh, there is somebody else in that sinkhole. Ah. Um, but because I was, I was beginning to think. Hold on. So you said there's no possible way of of escape. There's no visible person around to help you. But yep. there is someone to tell that secret to. There is someone to tell that secret to, and I can't tell you any more than that. But uh, at the time when Alf first comes to. He's not aware that there's anybody else in the sinkhole. Right. Oh, so he says it without knowing? Oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't just open his mouth and let the wind blow his tongue around and let all these so secrets does he, come out. Is it like a confession to this other person who's down there? It, 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 look, it, it sort of is, but, Philip, you're dragging me into areas like that. <laughs> <laughs> into, into your own into personal sinkhole. sinkhole. Yeah. <laughs> so you might, I mean, he must have thought, you know, but to coin his phrase, stone the flaming crows, this is the end of him. Strike me flaming handsome, I thought it was all over, <laughs> mate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>